My name is John Park. I'm an artist based out of Los Angeles, California. I was born in Seoul, Korea. My family moved to Ohio when I was about four. And then when I uh, graduated from high school, I went to Rhode Island School of Design and got a degree in illustration. When I went to college, I made it a point to recreate for myself a classical education. Um, so I really studied on my own anatomy quite a bit. I use all figures in my work. Even though they're slightly abstracted and elongated and distorted, they're still figures, they're still recognizable as these things. And I think that that's also very important because at the same time that I'm not trying to uh, produce a direct narrative, I think that having narrative elements, especially human figures, is what attracts people. People love people. We love our fellow human beings. Whether we want to admit it or not, we're fascinated by our fellow human beings. I, I think it's the one thing in art that we will never ever tire of. The first probably two years I painted was completely spontaneous. There was a, a high level of energy and then also simultaneously, I was really trying to get as far away from my classical roots in terms of aesthetically as I possibly could. And so one of the, the ways that I expressed that desire was by uh, very severely distorting and elongating my figures, the faces, making them super angular, adding eyes, things like that. I think that I have a very controlled, precise style. And I feel like, uh, your emotions definitely have to kind of mimic what you're trying to do on the painting itself. Uh, if I was very frantic and you know had a big splattery sort of expressive style, I feel like maybe my emotional journey would be very different. But for me, it's um, it's a very calm, sort of calculating um, experience. In terms of the, the masks that I've been using, and especially the, the kinds that I use that are more like helmets, they're a very simple, effective way to express things like duality in a person, um, just because as soon as they put it on, the person's face isn't obscured. And so it's in a very obvious, literally two faces on a single head. Artists of all stripes, writers, poets, dancers, painters, musicians, um, you know, we're very important because we are not only people that are sort of documenting everything, but we're also interpreting it for consumption by people who aren't artists. If you look at the kind of art that is just celebrated universally, there's this mystery to it, there's this ambiguity. You don't know what the message is, you know? Because the ambiguity allows for multiple interpretations, and multiple interpretations keep the piece alive. Anyone can come to it, and they can get whatever is within them from that painting. For me, a piece of art has to have two major components. One, it has to somehow capture some form of beauty, and it has to require skill to execute. I enjoy the process of being able to visualize something and then actually translate it to the point where it can be shared with people. I think that's absolutely the most important aspect of art. I think it's the purpose of art, is to share what's in your head with other people.